Hello everyone and welcome to the weird, scary and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are going to explore one of Indonesia's worst serial killers, Rio Martil, known as Rio the Hammerhead. Rio Martil, born Antonius Rio Alex Bulo, was born on the 2nd of May 1978 in Slemen in central Java, Indonesia. From a young age, Martil had a bad boy reputation. By the age of eight, his parents were fed up with him and moved him from Slemen to Jakarta, the capital of Indonesia, to attend school with his eldest brother who was age 12. In Jakarta, however, his delinquency followed him. With a friend named Senan, Martil began skipping school, drinking and committing violent crime. After completing high school, he began selling fake vehicle papers and then began stealing cars, stealing a minimum of one car per day. He ended up financially well off and was able to live a double life as a married man, lying to his wife and telling her that he was stealing clothes. Eventually, he was arrested for car theft and sentenced to prison. Upon his release, his criminal history followed him, but he changed his modus operandi in 2000 by committing robberies in different places, targeted car rental businesses, and killed his victims with a hammer, which led to the nickname Rio the Hammerhead. His first victim was in Surabaya, the capital of East Java and the second biggest city in Indonesia. Martil killed a car rental owner with a hammer and stole a Mercedes-Benz sedan. Travelling to Samarang, 350 kilometers from Sabaya and the capital of central Java, he murdered two car rental owners with the same hammer and stole an Isuzu Panther, a multi-purpose vehicle manufactured and developed by Isuzu in Indonesia for the Southeast Asian market. Martil attempted to replicate the murder in Yogyakarta, the capital of the special region of Yogyakarta in Indonesia, but failed. In January 2001, he rented a Timor Putra Nacional sedan. Known as Timor, it was an Indonesian car company which produced cars from 1996 until 2000. On the 12th of January 2001, Martil returned the car to Bataraden in Banyuamas and murdered Jeje Suraji in returning the Timor sedan. Police began to find out more evidence about his previous murders and arrested him at Hotel Rosenda in room 135. Placed in Purokerto prison, Martil told a reporter of the Indonesian national newspaper Compass I am grateful that I did not die while I was committing a crime, but he accepted his fate. In August 2004, he was moved into prison in Nusakambangan. However, his lust for blood followed him to Nusakambangan. In December 2004, Iwan Zulkaranen was placed in the same prison. Zulkaranen had defrauded individuals out of 40 billion Indonesian rupee, about 27 million US dollars. Zulkaranen had been sentenced to 16 years in prison. Both got along well, but eventually Zulkaranen began making fun of and teasing Martil. A furious Martil started to bash Zulkaranen's head against the cell wall before strangling him, killing him. On the 8th of August 2008, Martil was executed by firing squad and buried in Kejajar Banayumas. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favour and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. Also, why not hit that like button and leave a nice comment. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.